The iSurface Profiler, or ESP, offers a fully comprehensive analysis software with a long list of maps and parameters. We cannot go into all the detail, but we will touch on the, the highlights and the most important maps here in this video. So let's start with a go-to map that is called the Bisphere Elevation Map. Elevation basically is the raw height data with reference sphere uh, subtracted from that. And what you get is a map where the, the hot colors, so red and white, indicates that the ice surface is above the reference sphere and the cool colors, green and blue, indicate that the ice surface is uh, below the reference sphere. So if we look at this particular map here, what we see immediately uh, in the central, the corneal zone, and around that in the periphery, there's the scleral zone. Uh, and in the cornea, we see a, a red dot where the ice surface is above the reference sphere indicating a cone, the position of a cone of this keratoconic patient. And if we switch to this second map, then here we can uh, quickly see that there's a red dot, uh, an elevated uh, area on the sclera. And in this case, that's a pinguicula. And pinguicula can be uh, very hard to fit a specialty lens uh, for. Um, but with the eye surface profiler, if you hover your mouse above this particular pinguicula, you get uh, not just the height, but also its position um, in X and Y from the, from the apex out. And that gives you all the information that you need to, to fit a microvolt, a CPR, smart channel, or whatever um, your lab offers to, to deal with this uh, pinguicula. If we then move to the parameters on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see it's a fully comprehensive list dealing with SIMK, astigmatism, eccentricity, but more importantly for fitting specialty lenses is the vertical and the horizontal HVID, horizontal visual iris diameter, the pupil uh, diameter and its pupil offset. So for this third map, if we analyze the spiral zone, we see that it's, it's more elevated in the vertical meridian and it's more depressed in the horizontal meridian, suggesting that there is tericity on the sclera. Uh, if we look at the, um, the sagittal height calculator on the left here, and we type in uh, a chord length of 70 millimeter and hit enter, if you look at the, the difference of um, sagittal height at 90 degrees uh, meridians, you can see that there's 390 microns of difference. So tericity uh, quantified for you in your assessment of the, uh, the ocular surface. So also on the left-hand side, you see uh, a whole list of maps that you can use. And uh, we're just gonna touch on a few. So why don't we uh, switch to the scleral profile map? The scleral profile map basically is an asymmetry uh, detector of the scleral zone. And, uh, and if you see a single color, single blue color, uh, it means that the, uh, the, the sclera has a spheric shape. And if there's two colors, red and green, then it's indicating a toric shape. Uh, and four colors, as you see here, indicates that it's a quad specific shape. And there's one outer category, yellow with a hash mark, indicating that it's uh, an irregular shape. And based on the scleral profile, we have developed a nomogram that will uh, guide you towards what haptic for the scleral lens design to choose. The spheric one is that's quite clear, but also the choices for uh, whether to go quad specific or whether toric is, is sufficient. And also, of course, when you should go for a more customized haptic um, design. Another very useful map is the tangent angles map. And this basically shows the local slope of the eye and is a great way to look for asymmetry of a particular eye and can help greatly with quality management as well of your measurements. And now we come to the real core of the eye surface profiler, the first lens fit algorithms. And in the menu, all you have to do is to select your preferred supplier your lab, and then select the lens that you would like to, uh, to fit. And once you're happy, you click on calculate. Now, 
a process will start where the front surface of the eye will be matched with the back surface design of the lens. And as soon as that's done, it will actually pop up all the information that you require on the screen. So the scleral profile map for this particular eye had indicated quad specific. So that's what we chose. And based on the HVID, we went for a 70 millimeter diameter lens. And uh, after the first lens fit, algorithm has done its job. It comes back with all the information here on the left-hand side with the haptic shape in, in the four quadrants, of course, and, uh, and the overall sagittal height and the base curve. And so together with the, um, the over-refraction uh, calculator on the right-hand side, uh, that's the one thing you need to add, you are basically ready to, to place your lens order. And when placing the lens order, a new feature that we offer is the direct connect. It's a way where you can push all the relevant parameters and data to the lab. They will receive that in all its richness. And so also for the consultation that they will provide you with, they will be empowered with all the information that the uh, ESP gives. You basically have a very uh, direct and smooth process for a fast and, and very efficient and precise fit. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this quick demonstration of the ESP software. And of course, there's so much more to, uh, to learn. So why don't you sign up for a personalized demo? We'd be delighted to, uh, to show you all the features of this amazing uh, profilometer. Thank you and, um, and hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.